and it's it's amazing. To Sandra Bullock is grateful for the incredible support following the tragic passing of partner Brian Randall three weeks earlier after ALS battle. Sandra Bullock is grateful for the outpouring support just weeks after her partner, Brian Randall, tragically passed away due to a three-year battle with ALS at the age of 57. The Lost City actress, 59, who was planning to scatter the late photographer's ashes in the Bahamas, has been mourning the loss of the love of her life since his death earlier this month on August 5th. A source told People in an article published on Friday that the star has seen the incredible outpouring of support toward ALS research since Brian's passing. It was very important to her that when she and his family made the initial statement of Brian's passing, those who were on this journey with her and Brian from the beginning were recognized, with the Healy Center at Mass General leading the way, the insider added. She is so grateful to all those who have donated and is happy that out of something so heartbreaking came something so positive for others. At the time of his passing, Randall's family issued a statement to people and asked for donations to the ALS Association and the Massachusetts General Hospital in lieu of flowers. A spokesperson for the ALS Association revealed to the publication that the organization saw an additional $50,000 raised from donors in honor of Brian and an increase of over 100,000 new visitors to our website. We are grateful for everyone who has donated, and our hearts are with Sandra and Brian's family. We still need support to make ALS livable for everyone, everywhere, until we can cure it. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, ALS, is a nervous system disease that affects nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord, according to Mayo Clinic, and currently there is no cure for this fatal disease. In the full statement, the late photographer's loved ones heartbrokenly expressed, it is with great sadness that we share that on August 5th, Brian Randall passed away peacefully after a three-year battle with ALS. Brian chose early to keep his journey with ALS private and those of us who cared for him did our best to honor his request. The family also gave a special shout out to the tireless doctors who navigated the landscape of this illness with us and to the astounding nurses who became our roommates, often sacrificing their own families to be with ours. At the same time, Bullock's sister Jessine Bullock Prado took to her Instagram to also mourn the loss of Randall and honored her sister, who had been in a relationship with Randall since 2015. I'm convinced that Bri has found the best fishing spot in heaven and is already casting his lure into rushing rivers teeming with salmon, she began. ALS is a cruel disease, but there is some comfort in knowing he had the best of caretakers in my amazing sister and the band of nurses she assembled who helped her look after him in their home, Bullet Prado added. Jessine concluded the post by writing, Rest in Peace, Brian, and encouraged donations to both the ALS Association and Massachusetts General Hospital. The Oscar winner first met Brian, a model-turned-photographer, in 2015, after he photographed her son Louis's birthday. It came five years after her messy divorce from Jesse James and her heartbreaking love life with other celebrities in the past such as Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. Sandra and Brian's last public sighting together was in July 2020. The former model could be seen sending a look of love towards the actress as they arrived to an intimate gathering in Studio City with her two children. The Bird Box star was previously married to motorcycle builder Jesse James from 2005 until their divorce was finalized in 2010 following allegations that he had cheated on her. The award-winning actress has two children, Louis, whom she adopted in 2010, and Layla, whom she adopted in 2015. After crossing paths with Brian in 2015, the pair sparked up a budding romance and later said vows to each other in the Bahamas in 2017, but never legally married. Following his passing, Sandra is planning to say her final goodbye to the man she called the love of her life in a place that held special meaning for them both, DailyMail.com has learned earlier this week. According to insiders, Bullock is considering returning to the three bees in the Bahamas to scatter Randall's ashes in the sea. It was at this luxury resort on Harbor Island that DailyMail.com revealed she and Randall exchanged vows in 2017, just three years before his devastating diagnosis with ALS. The source said the place was just so special to them both. They would take over the entire island so they could just be themselves. 
It was a place where they shared some of their happiest times together and with the kids and friends. They would go there for weeks at a time. It holds a lot of meaning and it just makes sense for that to be where she says goodbye to him. Randall's daughter, Skylar Staten Randall, 29, took receipt of her father's ashes last week. A representative of Hollywood Forever Cemetery made the somber delivery to her Los Angeles apartment just three days after he passed away. According to the source, Sandra has taken Skylar under her wing since her father passed. Bullock and Randall never married but exchanged vows on the beach in the Bahamas in an intimate ceremony witnessed by friends and family on December 31, 2017. The insider said, Sandra didn't want to get married after her experience of getting divorced from Jesse James back in 2010. But she and Brian really wanted to have something for the children, to kind of seal the deal and show them it was a forever thing. Last year, in 2022, the star announced that she would be taking a break from acting, although her partner's health status was still kept quiet and out of the public eye. At the time, she told Entertainment Tonight that she wants to be in the place that makes me happiest, and added, I take my job very seriously when I'm at work. And I just want to be 24-7 with my babies and my family. That's where I'm going to be for a while. Sandra Bullock grateful for outpouring of support after Brian Randall's death. Academy Award winner Sandra Bullock is grateful for the love and compassion she has received after the recent death of her longtime partner, Brian Randall, following a three-year battle with ALS. A source close to the actress said she has seen the incredible outpouring of support toward ALS research since Brian's passing, which occurred on August 5th. It was very important to her that when she and his family made the initial statement of Brian's passing, those who were on this journey with her and Brian from the beginning were recognized, with the Healy Center at Mass General leading the way, the insider exclusively told people. She is so grateful to all those who have donated and is happy that out of something so heartbreaking came something so positive for others. Randall's death followed a private battle with the degenerative condition, also known as Lou Gehrig's disease, that weakens muscles and impacts physical function. Since his passing, there's been a renewed interest in ALS. Brian Frederick, a spokesperson for the ALS Association, told The Hollywood Reporter that the organization raised an additional $50,000, which will go toward our work of helping people living with ALS and their loved ones. The Arlington, Virginia-based nonprofit also saw an increase of over 100,000 new visitors to its website after Randall's family encouraged supporters to donate to the organization in lieu of sending flowers. Our hearts still go out to Sandra and Brian's family, and we are grateful for the spotlight they have shown on this devastating disease, Frederick added. ALS is still fatal, but we have an urgent plan to make it livable until we can cure it and we still need all the help we can get. Randall, a former model turned professional photographer, met the blind side star in 2015 while working at her son Lewis's birthday. The couple kept their relationship very private. 